Keanu Charles Reeves, Kinu, Keanu, born September 2, 1964, is a Canadian actor. Born in Beirut and raised in Toronto, he began acting in theatre productions and in television films before making his feature film debut in Youngblood, 1986. He had his breakthrough role in the science fiction comedy Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 1989, and he reprised his role in its sequels. He gained praise for playing a hustler in the independent drama My Own Private Idaho, 1991, and established himself as an action hero with leading roles in Point Break, 1991, and Speed, 1994. Following several box office failures, Reeves's performance in the horror film The Devil's Advocate, 1997, was well received. Greater stardom came for playing Neo in the science fiction series The Matrix, beginning in 1999. He played John Constantine in Constantine, 2005, and starred in the romantic drama The Lake House, 2006, the science fiction thriller The Day the Earth Stood Still, 2008, and the crime thriller Street Kings, 2008. Following another commercially down period, Reeves made a successful comeback by playing the titular assassin in the John Wick film series, beginning in 2014. In addition to acting, Reeves has directed the film Man of Tai Chi, 2013. He has played bass guitar for the band Dogstar and pursued other endeavors such as writing and philanthropy. Early Life Keanu Charles Reeves was born in Beirut, Lebanon, on September 2, 1964, the son of Patricia, née Taylor, a costume designer and performer, and Samuel Nolan Reeves Jr. His mother is English, originating from Essex. His American father is from Hawaii, and is of native Hawaiian, Chinese, English, Irish, and Portuguese descent. His grandmother from his father's side is Chinese Hawaiian. His mother was working in Beirut when she met his father, who abandoned his wife and family when Reeves was three years old. Reeves last met his father on the Hawaiian island of Kauai when he was 13. After his parents divorced in 1966, his mother moved the family to Sydney, and then to New York City, where she married Paul Aaron, a Broadway and Hollywood director, in 1970. The couple moved to Toronto and divorced in 1971. When Reeves was nine, he took part in a theater production of Damn Yankees. Aaron remained close to Reeves, offering him advice and recommending him a job at the Hedgerow Theater in Pennsylvania. Reeves's mother married Robert Miller, a rock music promoter, in 1976. The couple divorced in 1980. She subsequently married her fourth husband, a hairdresser named Jack Bond. The marriage lasted until 1994. Reeves and his sisters grew up primarily in the Yorkville neighborhood of Toronto, with a nanny caring for them frequently. Because of his grandmother's ethnicity, he grew up with Chinese art, furniture, and cuisine. Reeves watched British comedy shows such as The Two Ronnies, and his mother imparted English manners that he has maintained into adulthood. Describing himself as a private kid, Reeves attended four different high schools, including the Etobicoke School of the Arts, from which he was expelled. Reeves said he was expelled because he was just a little too rambunctious and shot my mouth off once too often. I was not generally the most well-oiled machine in the school. Reeves has dyslexia and has said, because I had trouble reading, I wasn't a good student. At De La Salle College, he was a successful ice hockey goalkeeper. Reeves had aspirations to become a professional ice hockey player for the Canadian Olympic team but decided to become an actor when he was 15. After leaving De La Salle College, he attended Avondale Secondary Alternative School, which allowed him to get an education while working as an actor. He dropped out of high school when he was 17. He obtained a green card through his American stepfather and moved to Los Angeles three years later. Reeves holds only Canadian citizenship. Career 1984-1990, Early Work In 1984, Reeves was a correspondent for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, youth television program Going Great. That same year, he made his acting debut in an episode of the television series, called Hangin' In. In 1985, he played Mercutio in a stage production of Romeo and Juliet at the Leah Poslins Theatre in North York, Ontario. He made further appearances on stage, including Brad Fraser's cult hit Wolf Boy in Toronto. He also appeared in a Coca-Cola commercial in 1983, 
and in the National Film Board of Canada NFB, Coming of Age, short film One Step Away. Reeves made a foray into television films in 1986, including NBC's Babes in Toyland, Act of Vengeance and Brotherhood of Justice. He made his first motion picture appearances in Peter Markle's Youngblood, 1986, in which he played a goalkeeper, and in the low-budget romantic drama, Flying. He was cast as Matt in River's Edge, a crime drama about a group of high school friends dealing with a murder case, loosely based on the 1981 murder of Marcy Renee Conrad. The film premiered in 1986 at the Toronto International Film Festival to a largely positive response. Janet Maslin of The New York Times describes the performances of the young cast as natural and credible, with Reeves being described as affecting and sympathetic. Towards the end of the 1980s, Reeves starred in several dramas aimed at teen audiences, including as the lead in The Night Before, 1988, a comedy starring opposite Lori Laughlin, The Prince of Pennsylvania, 1988, and Permanent Record, 1988. Although the latter received mixed reviews, Variety magazine praised Reeves's performance, which opens up nicely as the drama progresses. His other acting efforts included a supporting role in Dangerous Liaisons, 1988, which earned seven nominations at the 61st Academy Awards, winning three Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Costume Design, and Best Production Design. This was followed by Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 1989, in which he portrays a slacker who travels through time with a friend, portrayed by Alex Winter, to assemble historical figures for a school presentation. The film was generally well received by critics and grossed $40.5 million at the worldwide box office. Film review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a 79% approval rating with the critical consensus. Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter are just charming, goofy, and silly enough to make this fluffy time travel adventure work. In 1989, Reeves starred in the comedy drama Parenthood directed by Ron Howard. Nick Hilditch of the BBC gave the film 3 out of 5 stars, calling it a feel-good movie, with an extensive and entertaining ensemble cast. In 1990, Reeves gave two acting performances. He portrayed an incompetent hitman in the black comedy I Love You to Death, and played Martin, a radio station employee in the comedy Tune in Tomorrow. He also appeared in Paula Abdul's music video for Rush Rush which featured a rebel without a cause motif, with him in the James Dean role. 1991-1994, Breakthrough with Adult Roles In 1991, Reeves starred in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, a sequel to Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, with his co-star Alex Winter. Michael Wilmington of the Los Angeles Times wrote that the sequel was more imaginative, more opulent, wilder and freer, more excitingly visualized, praising the actors for their fuller performances. Film critic Roger Ebert thought it was a riot of visual invention and weird humor that works on its chosen submaronic level. It's the kind of movie where you start out snickering in spite of yourself and end up actually admiring the originality that went into creating this hallucinatory slapstick. The rest of 1991 marked a significant transition for Reeves's career as he undertook adult roles. Co-starring with River Phoenix as a street hustler in the adventure My Own Private Idaho, the characters embark on a journey of personal discovery. The story was written by Gus Van Son, and is loosely based on Shakespeare's Henry IV, Part I, Henry IV, Part II, and Henry V. The film premiered at the 48th Venice International Film Festival, followed by a theatrical release in the United States on September 29, 1991. The film earned $6.4 million at the box office. My Own Private Idaho was positively received, with Owen Gleiberman of Entertainment Weekly describing the film as a postmodern road movie with a mood of free-floating, trance-like despair, a rich, audacious experience. The New York Times complimented Reeves and Phoenix for their insightful performances. Reeves starred alongside Patrick Swayze, Lori Petty and Gary Busey in the action thriller Point Break, 1991, directed by Catherine Bigelow. He plays an undercover FBI agent tasked with investigating the identities of a group of bank robbers. To prepare for the film, Reeves and his co-stars took surfing lessons with professional surfer Dennis Jarvis in Hawaii. Reeves had never surfed before. Upon its release, Point Break was generally well received, and a commercial success, 
earning $83.5 million at the box office. Reeves's performance was praised by the New York Times for considerable discipline and range, adding, he moves easily between the buttoned-down demeanor that suits a police procedural story and the loose-jointed manner of his comic roles. Writing for The Washington Post, Hal Hinson called Reeves the perfect choice and praised the surfing scenes, but opined that the filmmakers have their characters make the most ludicrously illogical choices imaginable. At the 1992 MTV Movie Awards, Reeves won the Most Desirable Male Award. In 1991, Reeves developed an interest in a music career. He formed an alternative rock band called Dogstar, consisting of members Robert Mailhouse, Greg Miller and Brett Domrose. Reeves played the bass guitar. A year later, he played Jonathan Harker in Francis Ford Coppola's gothic horror Bram Stoker's Dracula, based on Stoker's 1897 novel Dracula. Starring alongside Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder and Anthony Hopkins, the film was critically and commercially successful. It grossed $215.8 million worldwide. For his role, Reeves was required to speak with an English accent, which drew some ridicule. Overly posh and entirely ridiculous, Reeves's performance is as painful as it is hilarious, wrote Lamara Salt of Virgin Media. In a retrospective interview in 2015, director Coppola said, tried so hard he wanted to do it perfectly and in trying to do it perfectly it came off as stilted. Bram Stoker's Dracula was nominated for four Academy Awards, winning three in Best Costume Design, Best Sound Editing and Best Makeup. The film also received four nominations at the British Academy Film Awards. In 1993, he had a role in Much Ado About Nothing, based on Shakespeare's play of the same name. The film received positive reviews, although Reeves was nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Supporting Actor. The New Republic magazine thought his casting was unfortunate because of his amateur performance. In that same year, he starred in two more drama films, Even Cowgirls Get the Blues and Little Buddha, both of which garnered a mixed to negative reception. The independent critic gave Little Buddha a mixed review but opined that Reeves's part as a prince was credible. The film also left an impression on Reeves. He later said, when I played this innocent prince who starts to suspect something when he has the first revelations about old age, sickness and death, it hit me. That lesson has never left me. He starred in the action thriller Speed, 1994, alongside Sandra Bullock and Dennis Hopper. He plays police officer Jack Traven, who must prevent a bus from exploding by keeping its speed above 50 miles per hour. Speed was the directorial debut of Dutch director Jan de Bont. Several actors were considered for the lead role, but Reeves was chosen because Bont was impressed with his point-break performance. To look the part, Reeves shaved all his hair off and spent two months in the gym to gain muscle mass. During production, Reeves's friend River Phoenix, and co-star in My Own Private Idaho, died, resulting in adjustments to the filming schedule to allow him to mourn. Speed was released on June 10 to a critically acclaimed response. Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune lauded Reeves, calling him absolutely charismatic giving a performance juiced with joy as he jumps through elevator shafts and atop a subway train. David Anson, writing for Newsweek, summarized Speed as, relentless without being overbearing, this is one likely blockbuster that doesn't feel too big for its britches. It's a friendly juggernaut. The film grossed $350 million from a $30 million budget and won two Academy Awards in 1995 Best Sound Editing and Best Sound. 1995-1998, continued acting efforts. I do love it. It's like this kind of code that once you start to inhabit it with breath and sound and feeling and thought, it is the most powerful and consuming and freeing at the same time. Just, literally, elemental in sound, consonants and vowels. What I found out in doing it was that it brought up for me all the anger that was inside me for my mother. I mean, it surprised me, just what was there, and I hadn't seen that before. Reeves on his Hamlet performance. Reeves's next leading role came in the 1995 cyberpunk action thriller Johnny Mnemonic, directed by artist Robert Longo and based on the 1981 story of the same name by William Gibson. Set in 2021, it is about a man who has a cybernetic brain implant and must deliver a data package before he dies or is killed by the Yakuza. The film received mainly negative reviews and critics felt Reeves was woefully miscast. 
Roger Ebert opined that the film is one of the great goofy gestures of recent cinema. A movie that doesn't deserve one nanosecond of serious analysis but has a kind of idiotic grandeur that makes you almost forgive it. As part of the film studio's marketing efforts, a CD-ROM video game was also released. He next appeared in the romantic drama A Walk in the Clouds, 1995, which also garnered mixed to negative reviews. Reeves plays a young soldier returning home from World War II, trying to settle down with a woman he married impulsively just before he enlisted. Film critic Mick LaSalle opined that, A Walk in the Clouds is for the most part a beautiful, well-acted and emotionally rich picture, whereas Hal Hinson from The Washington Post said, The film has the syrupy, Kodak magic moment look of a Bo Derek movie, and pretty much the same level of substance. Besides film work, Reeves retreated briefly to the theater playing Prince Hamlet in a 1995 Manitoba Theatre Center production of Hamlet in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The Sunday Times critic Roger Lewis believed his performance, writing he quite embodied the innocence, the splendid fury, the animal grace of the leaps and bounds, the emotional violence, that form the Prince of Denmark. He is one of the top three Hamlets I have seen, for a simple reason, he is Hamlet. Reeves was soon drawn to science fiction roles, appearing in Chain Reaction, 1996, with co-stars Morgan Freeman, Rachel Weisz, Fred Ward, Kevin Dunn and Brian Cox. He plays a researcher of a green energy project, who has to go on the run when he is framed for murder. Chain Reaction was not a critical success and gained mostly a negative reaction. Review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes gave it a rating of 16% and described it as, a man-on-the-run thriller that mostly sticks to generic formula. Reeves's film choices after Chain Reaction were also critical disappointments. He starred in the independent crime comedy Feeling Minnesota, 1996, with Vincent D'Onofrio and Cameron Diaz, which was described as, shoddily assembled, and fundamentally miscast, by Rotten Tomatoes. In that year, he turned down an offer to star in Speed 2, Cruise Control, despite being offered a salary of $12 million. According to Reeves, this decision caused 20th Century Fox to sever ties with him for a decade. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.